Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day. We're gonna fuel your mind, your body, and your future. All right, as always, announcements, it's Thursday. Uh, what's the announcements today? Announcements are this. We Are Heroes episode 28, launched yesterday, 20, no, no, yeah, 29, is going, 29? Is going to be, yeah, we're losing track of it. So, what do you got, Tim? Well, anyway. 29 it was launched or tomorrow yes, 20 today. yeah so 30 is going to happen tomorrow so episode 30 is going to happen tomorrow 30 episodes it's like an amazing epic movie it's really great thank you so much for your comments your concerns and everything like that all the feedback's been amazing and thank you for the shares we're really starting to see growth on all the social media channels instagram twitter youtube facebook as well and soundcloud stitcher itunes Overcast. And overcast. So we're really starting to see, we're starting to get some traction, and it's only because of you guys, you know, telling other people and making sure you share it. It's just been the best thing ever. Thank you for your cool hero stuff. I got my hero, got my hero shirt on like this, ready to go to the airport, show my hero pride. We're going to go to uh, Dr. Josh Axe's event in Nashville, Tennessee, and do some good stuff to bring back for you guys as well. All right, so let's talk about today. What are we going to talk about in today's 15 minute fuel? Our, uh, it's, it's, it's titled Embrace Your Differences. Embrace Your Differences. We're living in a society that everything is compared to, right? You're supposed to go to school and you're, suppo you're supposed to be uniformed like anything else. And the uniform, there's a uniform, quote unquote, really with every activity in your life. You know, this is how you act in school. This is the type of job you're going to get. This is how you're supposed to act in these situations. This is the clothes you're supposed to wear. This is how you're supposed to handle yourself in certain situations. And that's just in school and education. Then at church, you're told this is the uniform you literally need to wear and act and be like. So the whole system is making you very similar, right? Which to act similar and to not talk about or express our differences. And I think that's polar opposite the way God created us to be. For instance, I saw this, one of my favorite pictures, because I, speaking is my vehicle of influence to change the world. I have a picture, it was around World War II, and there was an actor with a megaphone, and he was rallying people, doing a talk, and there was at least 10,000 people there. All, it's a black and white photo, at least 10,000 people. You see him like this, talking with a megaphone, and they all had the same hat, they all had the same overcoat. It's like everybody looked like a clone of each other. And then I looked at it and go, that was a perfect example of everybody had to wear the, the gray overcoat, the black fedora. And I was like, wow, there was, I, I couldn't tell the difference. All you could tell was that guy was a guy and that lady was a lady. But everybody was doing the same thing. So as you could see, as, as uh, things evolve sort of bit, people were embracing their differences. And I think what I'm about to say is, I'm not saying that you do things to potentially be different, like I'm gonna dye my hair pink just to be different, but you've been given such unique qualities, talents and gifts, that I would totally go hero on all your uniquenesses and differences versus your sameness. You know, everybody's sameness doesn't change the world. It's the uniqueness that you have. It's the unique talents and gifts that you've been given that makes the change. So a lot of times we're told to bury our, we, our, our uniqueness, right? If we're a little bit different, just think if a kid's in school and he's an artist or a musician, he's considered different because he doesn't want to sit for six hours. And so now his difference, which is art and creativity and maybe music, or just the fact that he's creative and he doesn't want to sit down for six hours, then it seems as bad. So over time, it's conditioned that his differences or her differences are bad to the point where society will promote, educate, they will reward and medicate sameness. Sameness, mediocrity equals sameness. Mediocre, average, the same. That's what society rewards and they discourage your uniqueness and your difference. And, so, and, and the way I came up with this today, I was doing a, a Facebook Live for my homies overseas very early this morning and I realized in the whole you know when I'm going out to speak and stuff like that or looking at my kids and I, I really in my entire practice the reason why we built our office to become the largest clinic in the profession in the history of it is because I always leveraged what was different not what was the same and everything like and every time I speak I talk about what is different unique not the same because everybody's used to the same stuff Everybody's looking for the new opportunity. 
No one wants to improve upon the same thing they've been doing that they didn't get results on. What is something different you could do to get behind and then hopefully open up a new door? And so just, I look back, my whole entire journey in life was the difference. You know, I marketed differently than anybody else. I spoke differently. I wasn't a keynote speaker, I, meaning I wasn't like a, a rotary uh, Toastmaster person. I was an influencer. I was different. My, I, I, I leveraged my difference in the way I look, you know? You know, I, I leveraged the physique. You know, I, I would call it wrapping the package. You know, I would, I would leverage everything I had. You know, I leveraged the busyness of the office. I leveraged the colors. So I was so, I was always looking, what makes us different? What makes us unique? And that stands out and that is very attractive to people because in usually your differences, your uniqueness is where your hero's at. It's beautiful. And that's what allows you to stand out. That's the fingerprint. Listen, we all have different fingerprints. So why would we be in a world that just supports and rewards and medicates sameness? So always look at your uniqueness. And then I, just even now, like, you know, going for the keynotes, you know, when I'm going to speak, it's not just about the words I'm saying. I got to think, well, what am I going to wear? And the reason I want to wear is because I want to portray the differences. Because I know in order to be, to stand out, I have to leverage everything I'm different at. So what makes me different? You know, I have a Mr. America title or I played the piano. What makes me different? I had ulcerative colitis and, and almost died. So my story makes me different. And these are these are all things that make you different as well. You know, winning Mr. Universe, uh, having, a, having a doctorate in chiropractic, that makes me different. You know, um, looking a certain way, right? Whether it be, you know, the built, the physique, whatever that is. So I leverage all those differences because I want to stand out because I want to create this experience. When someone's unique and different, you create the experience that that person gets to enter into. And when you leave that talk, when you leave that meeting with that person, they're going around and how'd you make them feel? Not really what you said. And so here I might not be the most polished speaker, but one of my core values is I'm, I'm finely tuned and kind of unpolished. So that's why I like to do one takes and do all these things because it's very important to me that I, 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 I keep that realness. And everybody says there was something different about that person. And that's the greatest thing anybody could ever tell me. There was something different about you because they see I'm being the true authentic version of myself. I'm not worried about being a counterfeit version of somebody else. I just want to be me and all my uniqueness and all my differences and all what, what, what someone might say is a, a pro, what someone might say is a con, but all that together creates a difference. And so just think about today, what have you been doing in your life that you've been hiding your differences? You've been, you've been hiding things because you were told your entire life that was un, that unique indifference that you've been blessed with and, and you, that unique aspect of you, it's been told to be pushed to the side, covered or changed to be just like everybody else. My dad was a lefty, all right? The nuns used to beat his hand with a ruler when he used to write. And they said, that's the dirty hand. I mean, just think, my dad went through, so my dad was genetically a left-handed person and he was beaten to use his right hand. And as, as far as an extreme as that is, and I know you say, well, they don't do that today. Maybe not in the public schools, but I'll tell you right now, they're doing it to you in other ways. You know, the, the way you talk, where you go, uh, what your, what your uh, bank account should look like, what car you should drive, what house you should have, how you should raise your kids. Everything is about, you know, being like the Joneses and not saying, what is it in me? What is the difference in my life that I embrace and I stand behind that I'm okay with? And in your differences, like I say, it's the hero and it's the beauty. So I'm just going to say, if you like this, just do the heart and the thumbs up, you know, some muscles up. And remember back again today, write down what is different about you. I, I did to my office yesterday. I, I wrote down just to my office, what makes us different? And I wrote down 30 deep, heavy differences that makes my office different than any other office around. Well, you know, one difference, if you, if you own a business, one of your differences is this. They don't get you anywhere else, right? So one of my differences is you don't get Dr. Zeno, Dr. Travis, Dr. Rob. You don't get us anywhere else. Am I saying I'm the best? I think I am because that's where I am. That's just my internal talk. But it's, but you literally physically don't get me down the road. And so that's a difference, you know, when it comes to you, if you own a job or a company or, or at work. So that's one difference right there. Another difference is you don't get Shannon and my front desk team, all the experience they had. You know, my, my, uh, the people who work for me, they're not, resume people, they actually are patients. They, they paid for their care. They have the experience. And so they, 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 they're congruent on such a deep level that you're not going to get that anywhere else where someone might, might've just been hired for 10 bucks an hour, uh, 
from an ad on Craigslist. You see, so there's so many differences that are so deep that you might overlook, but it's in those differences creates uniqueness and creates the new opportunity, the new experience to allow people to enter into an amazing experience, an amazing feeling, an amazing situation if you do own your business or anything like that. Same with your kids. I embrace that my kids are different. I want them to be different. And you know, like Titus run, he wants to wear superhero stuff, let him wear superhero stuff. I don't want to interfere with his creativeness. That's all part of them. So I know the, the longer I can allow them to be comfortable in their uniqueness and comfortable in their difference, when they're 15, 16, 17, it kind of solidifies. You know, the insecurity is now that they didn't learn insecurity, they learned to be unique and who they were created to be. So that's why I protect them. Let them be creative. Let them be unique and different because that's where the genius is always at, the uniqueness. Remember, God made all our fingerprints different. So therefore, why do we live in a world in a society that wants us to be all the same? It doesn't make sense. You think about it and you realize we're in a society that's conforming us, not allowing us to be unique. So write that list down. So here's the action step today. I want you to write down on a piece of paper and go as much as you can, what makes you different than somebody else at your work or anything like What is that difference? What is the uniqueness? You know, I saw, you know, Nick's on here. I saw Dr. Mick. So Dr. Mick, you know, he was on here a couple of shows ago. He was just on episode 29. Now, in his art, what makes him unique? Number one, he's extremely, he has extreme empathy that I see, but also you could have the worst day and he just knows how to lighten your spirits up. He's funny. He's so funny all the time. So the thing is like, so I don't, that's unique, that's different. You're not gonna get that. You know, if I said the jokes he said to my patients, I'd, I'd, I'd have 10 board complaints on me. I, I wouldn't have my license anymore. So you see, he uses his uniqueness. And that's why it's so, it's so precious to look at because you, you're comfortable in your difference. So just write down, what are your differences? All of them, as many as you can think of. Don't take them for granted. Different sets your work. What makes you different than somebody else? What's the uniqueness about yourself? And embrace them, be proud of them. And what I would go is I would go full hero on them because the uniqueness and difference is what actually helps other people give themselves permission to embrace the uniqueness and difference that God has given them as well. Well, hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I gotta catch a plane, so we're gonna cut this a little bit short. Again, you have to, uh, uh, write any comment if, if I'm not live, write the comment. I'll totally answer you guys back like you always do. And have an amazing day. Uh, episode 30 will be uh, live tomorrow, Friday. Uh, this weekend I'll probably do a couple lives with a couple doctors, probably Josh Axe and, and a couple, you know, good people as usual. We'll always have some good stuff for you and every day we'll bring this to you live. The times might be slightly off, so please forgive me on that one, but we'll still bring you the great content as well. So have an amazing day, an amazing Thursday. Be prideful of your weakness, uh, of, of not your weakness, your, your, your uniqueness and your difference and embrace that. And I think it's going to tell you a lot about who you were created to be. And then when you write down that list of your differences, also think about all the times in your life that someone told you that was wrong. Example, my dad was a lefty and the nuns used to beat his left hand to make him a righty. Right? So just think about stuff like that. But society is doing that in a more subtle way. Just, but it's just as damaging. Actually, it was less damaging to my father because it was just a physical wound, but society does it on such a deep emotional level. It puts you in that secret identity. So our, our job is this, right? What do we believe? We believe that all people were born with seeds of greatness and you're capable of doing hero heroic things. Have an amazing day. We'll see you soon with 15 Minute Fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day, will free your mind, your body, and your future. And your future. All right, later.